Hello, Scorpio. <laughs> Thanks for bringing your good vibes. Thanks for bringing your uh, personality for sure. So I'm doing 12 health placements and then I'll do the overall what I feel and clarify like the love sector of like what's going on. So underneath the deck because I've already pre-shuffled. Let's see what we have. We have the six of cups which could be you reminiscing. We have the two of swords and okay. Ah okay. The ace of cups and a, <laughs> a queen of pentacles. So right off the bat what screamed in my head is you have a love choice here. Well, actually, you have a love choice and you have someone else, something they've wanted to do for a long time. So love or career. But mainly is you have a choice between another water sign and an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. All right then. Well, okay. <laughs> First house, house of self, house of personality such what do we got we got the queen of swords okay so could be dealing with the air sign as well so this is your appearance and you know the body the first impressions your attitude so your attitude scorpio <laughs> is i'm wiser than you i have more knowledge than you you might want to tone that down a bit this is also the single card right you see yourself maybe more single or other uh uh, I know, I feel you You see yourself as more single. Like, you got this. You got this. That's the queen. <laughs> Second house of money, of work ethic. Uh, well, it's Capricorn. Of work and, and stuff like that. We have the seven of cups, right? So this is your income, your work, your, your values, your material possessions, and your priorities. Your priorities, my love. Dealing with your money are kind of everywhere. You may have too many things in front of you and you're trying to figure out which one's going to bring you the most money. You need to use that wisdom you got there to take two of them out. <laughs> okay. Your third house, house of communication, the house of travel, the house of siblings, uh, the mind, what's on your mind. <laughs> Here you are. So it's definitely about you. You're thinking about you and what's good for you and what you need to release. You may already know about this energy. Boop. Okay. Because this is death, Scorpio. You are not really wanting to communicate with someone anymore. It is a family type of tie. Okay. Uh, you don't want to. You don't want to keep doing something, right? They're just something that you, you don't feel is bringing you enough money. And you don't want to keep doing it. You just don't. <laughs> the fourth house, House of Cancer. We have the Six of Wands. That is home, right? Roots, emotions, children, femininity. You got this. You're very successful, water, uh, <laughs> water sign. You're very successful, Scorpio, in your home life, right? You're getting things accomplished. You're doing them. I feel on your own because of the Queen of Swords here. You're saying, you know, you don't need anyone. I got this. Um, and me and the kids and my home, we're, we're good. We're set. Right? Yeah, that's successful. Your fifth house. Mm, your fifth house is, uh, we're definitely, I'm going to have to set this to the side. This is your uh, romance, love affairs, your creativity, your fertility, your childlike spirit, right? Seven of Swords. Uh, and in this deck, I always feel they're sitting there with people that are not meant for them. Like settling so you're not alone. Are you settling? Are you settling so you're not alone and this is why you're needing to make the choice between love and career? Mmm, mmm, you may see that in the end. Yeah, because you're not really living to your full potential here in the love sector. You're settling. You're settling for the geese when you're a beautiful winged angel. I'm going to set that to the side. We will be clarifying that. Your sixth house. Your sixth house is uh, the house of mm, b -b 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 Virgo? Mm, yeah, okay. Um, so... <laughs> the four of, I just totally lost that. The th four of wands is like a surprise, a marriage, um, passion meets purpose. 
stuff like that. So this is uh, your health, your routines, your social service, it's pets, work habits, and your organization skills, right? Because that's Virgo. So there's going to be a surprise, um, but it's going to be a delightful one. This is a good card to have. It's going to be a really good surprise that's going to come, it's going to shake up, and it's going to put you back on track, I believe, with how you are organizing things, right? It's going to be action. It's going to be a lot of uh, action-oriented goals getting accomplished here in that sector. Uh, the House of Libra, number seven, your seventh house, okay? It is other relationships. It's every relationship. Um, a marriage, it's contracts, business partners, equality, um, your interpersonal style. You have the Aquarius card coming up, the star. That is healing uh, maybe some family things, um, maybe going back to uh, a wish of like a career, like a contract. Someone's going to bring that back up for you and that's why you're having to choose between uh, love and the career it's a surprise okay it's a surprise this is a good one definitely accept it because it's going to help you heal in every way it's going to put you like back on track the eighth house the house of scorpio sex death magic transformation uh, merging intimacy you know loans properties stuff like that you have the Messenger of Air in this deck, but it's the Knight of Swords. Something's going to be done very quickly, uh, logically, like you're not really using too much emotion over this decision. You do see the path that you're wanting to go. So there is something that's going to have to be signed here. Some, some kind of legal document, because you just kind of want to be done with it. Uh, you want to run away from it. <laughs> so that could be the taxes and the property and uh, stuff like that. Your goals. You're just going, boom, all right, signed. Boom, all right, done. Yeah, you got me. I'm here. <laughs> the Nine of Cups for the Ninth House. That is a wish fulfillment. That could possibly be... Um, <sighs> so, okay, so Sagittarius House... It's about wisdom. It's about cultural differences. It's about the law and religion, you know, uh, ethics and your spirituality. So in this portion, it looks good. And I've seen some travel cards anyways. So you may be traveling somewhere that you've wanted to go for a long time and you're going to feel more spiritually aware. Possibly someone could be popping the question to you that's a little more religious than you or has a religious background. It's way different from what you grew up in is what I'm hearing. I just keep seeing two choices though. Like, you're going to need to be able to juggle this good career that's coming to you and this job that you want. <clears throat> the 10th house, the house of Capricorn, which is fitting. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles. And even though this is in this card, I've never once mentioned anything about learning to play this instrument or the violin. This is the cello, so you're going to have to put more work into that. But side note, the House of Capricorn is... It's about masculinity, it's about your public image, your work, your career ethic, um, long-term goals because they work on it for a long time structure so you're definitely putting the work in people see you as a hard worker okay that's your public image you may be a little more masculine or you may be the man if you're the woman you're still a little more masculine you just get things done which I've seen this throughout the reading you just get things done you see what has to be put down and you do it right um, if you are strayed from your father I feel you, uh, there's going to be some work put in to start communicating again, okay? That's good, though. That's real work. That's real foundation. So the 11th house, the house of <coughs> Aquarius, we have temptation, which is the devil, which is Capricorn, okay? So <laughs> it's like lust or money, 
luster money here. This is groups, friends, your social thing, uh, technology, hopes, wishes for the future, right? You may be putting a little too much, um, how do I put that? Imagination on a relationship or a friendship because of the heart here. So don't let your lustful nature or your need to not be alone really um, win over here when it comes to friends and groups and your hopes and wishes for the future. Okay, you're really needing to write down the, what the facts are in the moment of your situation that's going to approach you. Um, I do want to say real quick, I'm doing a numbers and colors uh, and 12th basic 12th house placement so you know a little more about it. Uh, if you would like to learn, the tarot class is about 47 minutes. It's pre-recorded. I have all the information there for you, demonstrations with the cards. Um, I'll put that link down below. It's $12 through my Etsy for you to constantly go back to, okay? And I also have like a text about it. So if, if you want to learn about it, it will be there. Also, near the end of this, um, I will be putting my Cash App thing before we move on. My Cash App uh, information will be at the side really quick. But it's Brandy Tarot. It's $7 for whatever question. Put your question in the notes, and I will give you a text back for your message. Okay. Now, your 12th house, your house of illusion, um, What's hidden, what's, uh, you know, your limiting, limiting beliefs, uh, your subconscious, afterlife, spirituality, because it's your intuition. The House of Pisces is like intuition. It's very mutable. It's the King of Swords. So, I think it's you not knowing how to put boundaries up to certain people. Okay? How to end things and how to begin things. Yeah, and he's wearing a mask, so it's almost like someone is wearing a mask and you are putting them up on a pedestal because, again, it comes back to you just don't really want to be completely alone. You want to surround yourself with friends and family and loved ones. Um, this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, but don't be blind. Take the blinders off. You know, you're you're not giving yourself enough credit, Scorpio, is what I'm seeing. Now, that being said, let's clarify your love portion. The Seven of Swords. Clarify the Seven of Swords for my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus's love life. Three of Cups. Right. Again, people. People. This could also mean third party. Someone else is involved. Someone is lying. I have the hangman, which is Pisces. Alright. I don't know if that's you or someone else. I have temperance, which is Sagittarius. Okay. Um, I almost feel like someone's testing the waters here. Someone is dipping to see which one's better. The Ten of Cups. Because they don't know which one to choose. Both of them make both of them make them feel whole. So they don't know which one to celebrate. Right? So someone here is sitting amongst someone that's not showing them true selves. Because the sex may be good. Hell, I don't know. We have another earth sign, though, because I did say you had to choose between an earth sign. I know earth sign was one of them. That is the prince, which is the knight of pentacles, right? I'm also seeing a lot of travel here, but it's almost like someone's trying to push their way. Push their way. Like, be with me. Travel the world. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There's another choice. Two of Pentacles is real change. You are going to have that epiphany. You're going to be able to see I have the Lovers, which is a choice. I have the Eight of Cups and the Tower, which is you again, which also represents Capricorn and Aries and Scorpio. All right. You're going you're gonna to find out this information by uh, July 15th, because when this reading is done. 
and you're walking away from it. You're going to know which one to choose to be happy, to have really good sex with a fire sign, too. Hmm. Uh -huh. That's for someone. You have to let me know what's going on in comments. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to leave it at that. It's all really about a choice here. And living up to your full potential is the overall message of these placements. You are not being who you could be. You are settling for things you should not settle for. Alright, peace out.